Lance Morris. Well, Alexis, I am so excited to be here talking uh, with you today. You continue to do amazing things in the world of basketball, giving back to young kids and so many others. Um, but I'm really excited to talk to you today because you have made history. And so now, of course, many know you as a the starting point guard for the championship team, that LSU squad, that 2023 national championship team that took so many of us on a world win. And then you joined the Harlem Globe Globetrotters, just the seventh woman to be part of that. But now Alexis, you're adding first lady of AN1. So I wanted to start there. And when you when this partnership came about, just wanted to know how you felt since you've had such an incredible basketball journey from young Alexis Morris until now. Getting a call from AN1, um, I'll be honest, when I was eight, when I was eight years old, I told my mom there was two things I wanted to achieve uh, as a basketball player. I wanted to be a WNBA player. I kid you not. Yeah. And I said, I'm have my own shoe deal. So when I got the call from N one, just imagine like that eight little that eight year old little girl inside of me just like lighting up. She's just like super excited. And the adult me is like, I feel accomplished. Like um I feel honored. Being that I played for the LSU national title team and I was a, a star role in um the victory. I want to bring that same energy to N one. I want to bring it to the to the brand, the Luther. I want to bring that energy, um that passion, that ambition. In that, in that grit to the to the women's side of N1. Yeah, there's so many powerful things that you said there, Alexis, you know, bringing energy, passion, and grit, you know, to the brand. And this being a dream uh, for you since you were a little girl. So I want to go back to that. Like, when you, how did you tell your family the news? Did you surprise them? Like, what was that like for you, for them to, again, see that they're, that they're now older, <laughs> Alexis, uh, is living out of childhood? They didn't, they didn't believe me. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> bro, like, I'm, I'm signing with N1, the shoe dealer. My dad's like, oh, how dope that is because I grew up playing on the pavement in my neighborhood. I grew up in playing in a small neighborhood in Beaumont, Texas, North End of Beaumont, playing on the pavement. And I just remember like telling my dad, I saw him in one. And believe me, I had um, our marketing guy send him some shoes, send him a package. Wow. Um, I had all my shoes sh uh, shipped to my dad's house. He like sent me a picture. He had all the shoes like set up shop, like, like a M one office in his house. It was like actually pretty cool. Like just to see him <laughs> super happy um, for me. And uh, my mom, same way. She was like, no, nah, you're, I'm like, mom, yeah. Like this is, this isn't a gimmick. This is, this is real. Um, wow. So they were super excited and happy for me. I have two sisters. They were happy for me. Um, they're, they're like, okay, now what's next? Like what we, we, we want to see we, when you're going to get to work, you know, so. <laughs> Alexis, just going off of that, you know, you talked about wanting to be a role model. And again, we know you are the first woman ambassador, you know, for this brand. And you're talking about getting to work. So what will work look like you um, as we kind of step forward? I know there's an upcoming open run tour um, that you'll be part of, but just kind of as much as you can share with us, what does the work look like? Because again, you're a person that knows work, you know how to get stuff done, you know how to win at the top level. So what will that next phase look like for you? I think so for me, just partnering with N1 maybe just, um, Probably doing some things for women's basketball, maybe doing some open runs for just strictly girls basketball or coming out with a, a shirt um, representing girls basketball. Just bringing just bringing women's basketball to N1 because I'm the first girl um, amongst, yeah. amongst a dominant, uh, a male dominant um, organization. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of want to bring that women's basketball piece no, I was just going to say, you know, you said the word unapologetic, and Alexis, that rang bells to me. I know you have a teammate, uh, a former teammate, Angel Reese, who has talked about that a lot, being unapologetically Black um, as a Black woman. I know you can also relate. I'm also a Black woman. And so uh, to be unapologetically you, how much does that mean to you? Do you feel like you've ever had that freedom before Every as far in your career? Everything. Everything. Um, even from when I was a little girl, from being, uh, having a, a, this may sound kind of messed up, but just having a a rebellious spirit to do something greater, to do something bigger than me, right? To do something outside of um, the norm. Um, so I've, I've always been an unapologetic person um, when it when it comes to what I feel is great. Um, whether it's giving back to the community or whatever I, whatever it is, in my opinion, I'm, I'm just trying to do something good for the community, put a smile on a kid's face, change a life. That's exciting. And Alexis, I know you talked a lot about what this will represent for your hometown um, area, but also obviously you meant a lot to the LSU basketball community. So also just curious, yet, have you shared the news with them? What has their reaction been? And you know what, how, what role um, has LSU kind of played in your journey thus far? 
Um, I would just say like just capitalizing off the national championship, just the buzz yeah. that you know we've received from that. But I haven't really, I haven't been in contact with anyone from LSU as far as like opportunity wise or um, networking and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's a reason for that. But um, love LSU, love love go Tigers, go Tigers. <laughs> Um, is Lex Luthor forever and always? Uh, I love Baton Rouge. Um, every time I'm in Louisiana, I always feel home is my second, second, third home. So, um, Aww, that's good to hear. Uh, and you know, as we were going to wrap, you talked about the swag and N one, and obviously, people that know N one know it's known, you know, for the street ball and the hip hop culture, right? That it brings. <laughs> now they're expanding, but as we talk about culture and how culture touches sports, and I know you talked about, you know, N one being something that you have followed, you know, for a long time. How does it now feel to have your name along N one mixtape legends, right? Like the pharmacists, or you know, NBA ambassadors like Stephon Marbury, like to now have Alexis Morris's name there. How does that feel to you? Unreal. <laughs> like like I told you it was like that little eight year old girl and she's like super excited and she I've been ho I've been wanting this my whole life. That's I'm, again I'm gonna continue to say it's a dream come true, something I've always wanted. Um but being amongst other legends, um truly inspired, you know, you best believe I'm going to reach out to the people who came before me just to like tap into their mental fabrics and gain the knowledge and ask for some of the knowledge and wisdom um, that kind of helped them get to where they are. So just being amongst other legends, I'm super grateful. Um, I'm thankful. Um, I give all the glory to God. I'm just give all the glory to God. Exciting. Alexis Morris in your lung life, in your young life. I mean, I'm I'm already ready for the bio, the, <laughs> the autobiography yeah. book. <laughs> I got a feeling we gonna sell out. I got a feeling we sell. We gonna sell out. We marketing and do everything. How I know N one. How the N one family. You know how we do it over here. We gonna we gonna sell out. That's exciting. Well, I hope to be part of that tell Alexis. It was so fun to have you. you. I don't even know where you can place this accomplishment with all your other accomplishments because you have so many, <laughs> but I'm sure it's up very high. Truly, thank you so much for your time. It's really great to talk to you and to meet you. Thank you. Morris lays it in. Alexis Morris.